the DSC light is all the time on stability control is not working with INPA I found out that the SZL module has some errors which cannot be deleted so I will change this module and see how it will work before you change the steering wheel column unit module try first to calibrate the DSC sensor you can do it with Autocom, you can do it with EastAD, this or Foxwell DSC angle sensor shows on EastAD software call up, call up echo functions and look here read the state and you see it's moving all the time this angle is moving all the time and not moving the steering wheel so this means it's something definitely wrong with it and I will try to calibrate it with ESTA D vehicle management service functions change the suspension adjustment of string angle sensor I don't think it will work didn't help it's moving all the time I'm not moving the string wheel and you have to click no because it's not zero it should be zero you see the light is on all the time on INPA you can see that the value of the string angle string column it's not changing even if you move it move the steering wheel it should change here so it's something very wrong so before starting any work with the steering wheel you have to remove the minus cable from battery you use number T number 10 and put it in a safe place If you want to remove the airbag from steering wheel in the BMW E60, first you have to disconnect battery and later you need this flat screwdriver. You have to put it in the hole under the steering wheel in this position. You just push it. I have already done it. I will show you how it is working inside. So he put screwdriver this way into the hole. The hole is there. This you can see there. It's coming inside. This way. And if you push, push it up. It makes moving the metal which is holding the airbag you can see this it's holding in four places it's here 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 and here if you look at the airbag there are small there are four plastic hooks and it's here 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 and here and these hooks are coming inside these holes, these four holes. To remove steering wheel, you use number 15. And you unscrew anti-clockwise. Next step is 
to remove this plastic cover and to remove another cover is the best to pull down the steering wheel like this lock it and up here you will find plastic screws which you need to, un to unscrew and you will find also one plastic screw under the string wheel into the hole it's also star having out these three plastic screws you can disconnect the bottom part of the plastic so you just pull it this bottom cover were attached in in the four places there 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 and there you just need to pull it down to get it removed now we have this upper cover so you put down the steering wheel lock it and try to remove it like this now it doesn't hold anywhere it's just to unscrew three metal screws with T20 Torx and to disconnect two connectors the screws are here here and here having out these three metal screws you can take out a little bit the steering wheel control unit module to release two cables the yellow one is there you have to push it here to disconnect it and the black one is on the right side and you have to push it there to release it I'm using the flat screwdriver you can see it was attached in these three places and the connectors were attached there and there if you want only to change the airbag tape and clean the dynamic stability control system disc you of course don't need to remove all the control unit it can stay on the place and you, you don't need to remove these two plastic covers so to remove the airbag tape you have to release two plastics one is there and one is there and you have to put something very tiny to release it like this and try to put it mount it in the same position later under this aluminium part there are brushes rotating on the DSC disc if you want to remove these brushes and check the condition Oops. on this side you release this plastic circle like this it's attached in the three, in the three places like this and now you can take this disc out together with the brushes and now the disc is released and if you see the brushes these two are good condition and this one is maybe not so good so this is the steering wheel control unit I had to unscrew 17 screws to see that this disc is integrated 
with the steering wheel control unit and you cannot change itself so it's good. so now I'm gonna put back the control unit and the steering wheel put it like this to make it more easy to connect the cables you should click when you hear the click and if you want to put the upper plastic cover it's more easy to put it down and lock it from the down stairs position and if you see here the holes this one and this one and this one there these two should come inside these holes. So first it's better to take them out so they will not fall. It's important that this upper plastic is lying over this aluminum part and this under plastic is lying under the aluminum part. You see how it is looking there and there and then the plastic is coming close enough to this button the same on the other side so there it will go like this and then it will fit good there. and now we can put in these two bolts into the holes they should fit good if you have mounted correctly the upper cover plastic and these bolts have places for the plastic screws which you are screwing in the bottom cover you attach into these four places There is one plastic screw under this bottom plastic. The airbag tape is mounted with in two places, in here and in here. If you put it correct, you just pull it in. The last cover is mounted in 8 places, 4, 6, 8, and there, 2, 4, 6, 8, and just pull it in, very easy, and now we can mount the steering wheel. Number 15 Use the screwdriver to mount again the airbag It will go much more easy After opening the luggage with the key, I have connected battery with number 10 and now we will see what errors it will show. So you see the 
dynamic stability control light is on because we have to calibrate the DSC sensor. Now I will calibrate the sensor. We will see if it will disappear. You can see on the bottom of the computer that it's lighting and we will see how it disappears. Now it has disappeared, so calibrating was successful. You click yes. I have still error on airbag coming from steering wheel, so on INPA I will check what is it this is what is it exactly f4 read memory f1 read error memory inpa says it's a system tight feather this means system time is error because the module is coming from another car and it's, it is still logged in in other car not in this one so we have to restart the system time in my case, cleaning of the disk didn't help, so I needed to change the module. After I change it, we need to code it. And first you use INPA, F3, and you have to write down this number, SZLZB number. You have to write it down. After you code the part, the VIN of this module will be the same as the VIN of the other modules. I have already done it, but I will show it how to do this. You close the INPA, open the WIN KFP, comfort mode, enter Zeus B. Here you have to enter this number, which you have written down from INPA. Okay. And here we have to write down the name of this module, which it's SZL two hundred sixty. You can cancel this and we choose it here. It was this one. Okay, and you write down the VIN number. I have already copied, copied. Set this. And you click down. And you click program. After changing the steering wheel control unit module, programming it, coding, restarting system time, calibrating the DSC light is off, airbag is off, I use about 2 hours for this.